So that's right. It's time to rip open the mini helmet. And everybody that got a spot is worth two teams. And so let's do some randoming on the randomizer and see who gets what team in the break. Oh, I don't know if he was getting it or not. I don't, I don't think, I don't know that he intended on getting it. So I don't, I don't think you nabbed it. I don't think you did anything wrong at all. Here we go. Seven times for the owner names. Something's going on out front, man. Yeah, I don't think he was grabbing it. I think he was just just come by to say hello. Something's going on out front. There's lights blinking everywhere. I want to get through this random. I got to get through this random. I don't want to leave right by me hanging, wondering what team you're going to get. So let's see what we got. Here's lucky number seven for the owner names. Yeah, I don't know what's going on out there, but as soon as I finish this random, I'm going to have to jump out there and see what's happening. Good luck with your team in the break. It's yellow lights, so it's not like a, a fire truck. It sounded like somebody was messing with the front door. Seven times through. Lucky number seven. And now you can see your team as we got the random going on. And now you can see your team in the break. All right. So good luck. Uh, maybe we'll hit a Jerry Rice or maybe we'll hit a Tom Brady. I was looking at that Tom Brady one trying to read the inscriptions. Some of these have some really nice inscriptions. I'm going to organize it in an alphabetical order by team name. And I'm just going to run and peek outside and just make sure there's nothing on fire. And there's no kind of chemical leak, a chemical spill. <laughs> I'm sure everything's okay. I just have to look out there just to make sure. All right, so... It's something with the power lines. Some kind of... Something's going on with one of the power lines, but we're fine over here, so... We don't have anything to worry about. So, thank goodness it wasn't anything too serious. I could see they have a bucket truck, and they, they're definitely power company people. Well, hopefully we get a nice little something out of this box break. Let's hit something nice. Good luck, everybody. It could be a treasure ticket. Most likely, it'll be an autographed mini helmet. But that's the little ticket we're looking for. Every time we rip one of these helmets, we're looking for hidden treasure. You know, we're always looking for that ticket.
All right, so what's it going to be? It's an autographed mini helmet. Good luck. Now, what do you suppose colors that is? That could be like maybe an old school Patriots. That's got to be a college. It's red. It looks red and black. It's not Patriots. Well, let's take a closer look. Good luck, everybody. Here it is. It's a Hall of Fame helmet. Oh, so we're going to have a Hall of Fame auto. Oh, my. Look at that. So it's going to be a Hall of Fame with autographs on this side. Who is it? I don't recognize it. Does it, does it Hall of Fame 2013? It's a really nice looking mini helmet. Let's go ahead and find out who it is. Where's our ticket? Here it is. Okay, so it's Curly Colt. <coughs> All right. This is going to come down to his longest tenure with whatever team, Chiefs or Oilers. But my guess is his longest tenure is going to be with the Chiefs. Uh, as he is in the Chiefs Hall of Fame, it would make sense. He probably played the most years with the Chiefs. But I have to confirm it that it is a Chiefs hit. I would be very surprised if it was not a Chiefs hit. So let's take a look at his career and see his longest tenure and most games played and that sort of thing. Get into the the uh, the history of this this guy this this player I don't know much about him myself you guys probably know all about him He played from 1968 to 1981. Oh, my gosh. Six foot two, 265 pound defensive tackle, nose tackle, guard. He'll do it all. One time Super Bowl champion, six time Pro Bowl. The guy's got accolades like crazy. Look at all these years that he played. Look at that. It's a tie. And then the tie comes down to most games played so uh, uh it guys is gonna go to houston it's gonna go to houston uh he played more games and surprisingly enough that that's uh you know, he, he he played more games for Houston. We had a longer career with Houston. And uh, so it is a Houston hit. So that's kind of a surprise, but seven years with Houston, seven with Kansas City. And uh, that's how the, we determine the tiebreaker is most games played and that sort of thing and so it comes down to that very close between the two owners it could even be the same owner that has both teams i'm not sure yet who, who's got houston but it could be the houston and kansas city okay so brad owns houston and kansas city is owned by conlin so brad is going to take this thing down just by a very slim margin congratulations 
So what a surprise that is. And pulling down a Hall of Fame autograph. Congratulations, Brad. And you can see the authentication down there. Oh, you're right. It would not be Houston. You're right. If it was Houston, it's the Houston Oilers, which they would have been transferred over to Tennessee. You're absolutely right. So I've, I stand corrected. I apologize. It does go to the next team formulated from the Houston Oilers. They became Tennessee. We would never own anything. Uh, Texans never get anything Oilers. So... It's actually Tennessee Titans. Yeah, that's it's correct. That's that's I'm sorry. I feel bad. I muffed this thing up pretty bad because I was saying I was thinking Chiefs and then I was thinking the Texans for some reason. But it is actually going to be um, the Oilers who gets this and the Oilers are currently the Titans. And so that is the story of our hit. Congratulations, Alan G. Sorry for my confusion. Uh, we have all these rules in place, and that's how we do every single one of these, by the same rules. And it just took me a minute to kind of get my rules in order. And so, sorry for the confusion awarding that hit. Congratulations again, Alan G. We've got lots more great stuff coming up about to happen.